Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here and welcome to a brand new permadeath series here in the world of Ark Survival Evolved. Continuing the story of Hilma Baron, who survived first a cataclysm and then a harrowing experience in the woods at the dawn of time. And if you're fresh to this series, you'll find links to both of those series up the top of your screen right now or the description below this video. Hilma Baron is back at square one, brought to this island by an unknown force. Around her are many of the dinosaurs that inhabited her previous home, and yet again, she has nothing. Even her hair, removed from her head during travel, and the wounds she once previously possessed, are sealed, leaving no scars. It's probably worthwhile mentioning that I am just as new to Ark as Hilma is, so so much of this experience is going to be blind. I have a large amount of experience with permadeath playthroughs. I understand caution, especially when the odds are stacked against us. And here, well, you better believe they're stacked against Hilma. As it stands, the settings for this world are default, and this is currently a full vanilla experience. However, I'm not against adding mods down the line that fit the style of this playthrough. And I think that's enough of an introduction. We need to get underway. Legionnaires and Hilma Baron, let us dive on in. And here we are in the shoes of Hilma Baron, on a beach in the middle of nowhere. But in the distance, we have large structures, structures that are unfamiliar to us. There is much to do to secure our survival here. There are threats everywhere and there are some potential allies this parasaur here could be one of those allies but the first thing that we need to do is just start doing some basic gathering gathering stones off of the beach and once we make our way up into the shrubs here gathering what we can in the way of thatch wood and berries for now though herbivores are going to be gentle and kind to us and for the most part the daytime is all right it's night where things get bad, and you know what? Even that pterosaur up there could be a problem for us, so we need to get moving as quickly as we possibly can. We've already got a level up, which is great. Let's get some thatch, and then see about looking at that level up. And I'm going to try and do as much of that as I can on the beach, kind of facing this way, just so that we are aware of what's going on around us. In terms of our leveling up, Movement speed is going to be important. We want to be faster than everything else as early as possible. And in terms of what we're going to get here with our engrams, we've got 16 points that we can slowly start to unlock things over time with. We've also got this interesting crystal that's embedded in the wrist of our left arm. That's our inventory management. It's all stored in there somehow. We're going to grab the stone pick. We're going to grab the torch. Oh, we already know those things. I, I, look, I know how to do this. We're going to get a campfire, which we are going to learn for three points. We're going to get the stone hatchet. We'll pick up the spear as well. And then you know what? Pants would be amazing. Let's start off with pants and a cloth shirt just so that we can actually get clothing because the environment is just as dangerous here as... Uh, you know, the dinosaurs are. We might actually even be able to craft a few things right off the get-go. So let's see what we are able to make. We need a little bit more thatch and a lot more fiber for pretty much everything. So yeah, let's start whacking those trees a little bit more. It is going to hurt our hand, but that's okay. There we go. And for fiber, I believe we can just go and gather through some of these bushes here. There we go. Lots of fiber, thank you. Excellent. All right. We can get ourselves a stone pick, which we're going to do, and we can also get a cloth shirt on the go. I would very much like to try and get a spear before too long. We're going to equip that shirt, and let's go and equip, let's equip that pick. You just stay over there. Don't know if you are going to be a friend or foe just yet. We're going to make our way on over towards this larger rock. Let's get cracking here, grabbing some flint. I think with that flint, we should be able to make ourselves a spear. An important self-defense tool. Fiber and wood is what we are after next. Okay, heading back towards the trees. Let's just start gathering. We've got some wood, we've got some thatch, and we also have yet another level up, which we're going to go and very quickly put into movement speed yet again. And with our next points, I want to pick up some boots, the hat, and the gloves. The water skin will come later. We're going to go back to our hands 
and just continue to gather as much fiber as we can. The berries, some of them we can eat, others are going to be useful when it comes to taming some of the creatures that are around here. We'll just keep our distance, we're going to take that fiber, and we're going to see what we can craft. Okay, we're going to get ourselves a stone hatchet next, and you know what? We can even get some pants. Excellent. Chuck those on, Hilma. Looking better already. Now obviously the axe is going to be able to give us more wood, whereas using the pick on the tree is going to give us more thatch. For now, let's just gather up some wood. And there we go. We can easily get ourselves that spear, which we're gonna. And it looks like for the hat we're gonna need some more fiber, and we're gonna need some hide for our gloves and for the shoes, so we are going to have to kill before too long. And having that spear as our main weapon, well that's gonna help us with that. First though, we're just gonna be getting some more fiber. All right, there we go. Hat first, which we're gonna get equipped. And now, well, we need to do some hunting. We're gonna get the spear out, and it looks like yet again, we've got another level. The levels come thick and fast early on. And with that, we are going to be picking up the water skin. We just need some hide. And as to how we get that hide, well, that's gonna come from killing something. We're gonna to stick to the beach as much as we can, not too close to the shore because there are some pretty horrific things out there in the water as well. Essentially, there are just so many things that want to kill us in this world. And Oh, you're a danger as well. I'm going to be staying a little bit further away from you. There we go. And we'll just see if we can find something a little bit smaller to start off with maybe. We do have some dodos in the distance here. Dodos that won't really be able to fight back against us. They're gonna give us some meat at the same time. And you, little horseshoe crab thing, trilobite. Well, I suppose we could maybe get some chitin from you. We'll leave you be for now. We're focusing on hide. And I don't imagine you've got a lot of it. Oh, we can see one of the dodos is currently getting eaten. Sorry, buddy. You're gonna be the first. So we strike at the dodo here. And there we go, it's dead. We're going to use the axe on it to collect some meat and also some hide. Okay, we can get that cooking. We are going to have to think about putting down a base, even if it is a temporary place, just so that we have somewhere to stay. I am worried about you, so let's start to move over here a little bit. And we're just going to get low. I'm going to stay nice and crouched down here. As we have a look at our crafting menu yet again, we are going to be making ourselves some shoes, first of all. And, oh boy, not enough fiber. Well, that's okay. We can manage the fiber. Let's just pop down here. Go to our hands, I believe. There we are. And grab that fiber. And that'll give us the gloves we need. Let's pop on those shoes. I've got my eyes on that carnivore down there. There we go. Got our gloves on now. Okay, so we could try and fight this thing. We could also try and tame it. But for now, I think I want to try and get a little bit higher to see if we can scout out somewhere that we might be able to stay. We also want to be weary that we don't fall at all. But an area like this, I'm not against. We've got a little bit of shade. We can see out over this way, down towards the shore where there's trouble happening. Oh, what have we got here? Okay, the spear broke. Well, that's, that's fine and dandy. Okay, campies, three of them. We're just going to try and fight them off using our fists here. Okay, come on. Yeah, there we go. Got you running. Okay, that's you unconscious. Stamina's a little bit on the low side. Now, we could try and tame this thing. We're not going to try and tame it. We're just going to get our axe out and we are going to uh, kill it. Taking the hide, taking the meat, and being ready for anything that's going to come back towards us. To remake the spear, we're going to need some more fiber. So, let's find ourselves another bush. You should do just fine. Get that fiber, and watch out for that little one. The axe, I believe, can substitute as a melee weapon. Here we go. Another one down. More trouble in the undergrowth. Let's send it running. Come on. You stay over there. And we are going to uh, have to get a little bit lower. But we're also going to try and take some meat from you. Okay. Do we have a moment here? A moment maybe 
<laughs> to get ourselves another spear. And we're probably going to have to have a few of them on the go at any one time. There we go. Spear. A much better weapon. We can defend at a distance. A level 6 compi. <laughs> okay. And let's hack you up as well. There we go. Oh. You might have heard that. Yeah. And defecation's a thing. Um, even crap can be useful on an island such as this. And my gosh, there's a few of you out here, aren't there? Up the top here. But we can take care of them easily enough. There we go. Right, so maybe this spot right here isn't the best of places for us. Maybe something like this, a little bit further away. It's still pretty secluded. Yeah, I kind of feel like this is going to work for us. I think we've got to level up. Let's see. Okay, no, but we are close. Having a look at our engrams, we're next going to want to try and get into thatch construction. It's the most basic form of it. And also, if we can get a storage box, we're going to be able to, you know, keep some of our resources nice and safe. I'm not against trying to clear the area a little bit, so we might start hacking away and <laughs> literally just got ourselves a level up. So, yet again, I'm going to be putting that into movement. I want to try and get that up much higher than it is before we start putting our points elsewhere. As for our engrams, let's go for the foundation, the walls, and the door frame. The ceiling, the door, and the storage box we're going to have to get next time. But we are going to be able to start building some of those just as soon as we get some more thatch. Currently, we're a little overloaded in the wood department, so we're going to get rid of a stack of it. I wouldn't mind putting down a campfire before we do anything else as well, so we're going to start to make our way down towards the shore here, being wary that we are still close to being fully over-encumbered. And we're just going to grab a few of these rocks, being mindful that there are things on the beach that might want to hurt us. Right now, though, we seem to be okay. One more rock needed. There we go. Let's get that campfire crafting away. I'm going to start to make our way back up there. All right, this looks like a really good spot for me. So let's place that down. Right there. Excellent. We can also use that wood right away to get that fueled up. Transferring the wood across and the meat. Let's get it lit, and that's going to start to cook our meat for us. Good. So yes, the next thing that we are going to be in need of is thatch, and a fair amount of it. Looks like we've got enough to get started, though. Oh no, we're going to need a lot more thatch and a lot more fiber. So let's start gathering as much fiber as we can from the area, and then let's get some of that thatch too. There we go. Now, as for our platform, this is going to be very, very simple to start off with. There we go. That's that. <laughs> We've queued up all of our constructions. Now we just need to wait. We're going to have our door facing our fireplace here. There we go. That's a start, Hilma. We're quite close to leveling, so we are only going to need to do a little bit more gathering to get there, I think. So let's just start whacking away at this wood. Oh, all right. And that's enough to bring that tree down, okay? And it's also enough to completely immobilize us. I'm gonna have to be much more careful than that. We'll throw away that excess wood, enough so that we can actually move. And we're just gonna gather up until we get to that level. There we go, that's what we are after. So yet again, movement speed. I wanna try and maybe get it to 110%. And then as for what we are going to unlock, we definitely need the storage box. That's just gonna make things a lot easier for us going forwards. And we'll go for the thatch door. The ceiling, that'll come after. So let's jump on inside and we're gonna get some of those storage boxes made. Now, I don't think we're gonna to have to actually put these in here. I'd like us to have a little bit more space. So we're probably gonna store them outside. Yeah, something like that. And we've got two of them, so we'll place them just next to each other, like so. And with that, we're going to be able to store a lot of our resources, starting off with the large amount of berries that we've just been holding on to. Having a look at our fire here, we should have some nice cooked meat. We do. Some of it has spoiled. That's okay. But with 14 meat, we'll be able to eat. And I think it's going to be easiest if we just put that on our hot bar so that we can munch away, <laughs> chewing on some delicious dodo and maybe some compies, but that's got us feeling good. Now we are a little bit on the thirstier side, but we're starting to get that way. The water here is fresh, seemingly so, or fresh enough that we can drink it. 
obviously it's going to be good for us to have water skins so that we don't need to rely on going down to the water. But I think we're... I think we're okay too. There was a very, very large shark there. Don't know if you saw it just pop out there for a moment. So that's why we don't want to go swimming. But I believe we should be able to, yeah, just slurp. Take some water, just like so. And we're doing good. Back up towards the home we go. I think it's about time that we get that door made. There we go. And now we're uh, kind of <laughs> semi-defended. Thatch can be knocked through in an instant by some of the dinosaurs that are around us, though, so we cannot rely on it for protection. It does, at the very least, break line of sight, and got to think that helps. <laughs> Right now, I think I'm just going to want to try and compile as many resources as we can. So, I'm going to go out, do some gathering, get a load of wood, thatch, and fibers, and we'll see where we stand after all of that. Oh, and the fire has gone out just after we've returned, so let's have a look and see how the meat's going. We could definitely deal with more of it, and we've got more than enough wood that we should be able to keep this fire going for a very long time. Okay. Hello. Wouldn't mind you as a friend. Hmm. That is something that we can potentially consider. But we want to be wary. Flying creatures will just fly away if they feel like they're threatened. Now we'd need something more to take that down, I think. Now that's interesting. A big glowing light. Nice and close. Something that we might want to investigate. But I also think it's something that we're going to want to make sure that we have at least more than one spear for. We're speared up, ready to go. The sun is starting to set. We do have another level up available though. We're going to be putting it into movement speed. And as for our engrams, we're going to be making sure that we get a thatch ceiling just so that we can sleep a little bit easier tonight. And it looks like we're just going to have to save up for some of the other things here. Or we could get a hide sleeping bag. Now it's not something that we're actually going to be making use of because it's for respawning, but we'll still want it for roleplay purposes. And with that, well, I think we've got to get a move on. Uh, let's close that up. We'll scout the area out. And I'll make sure that we don't get too cold while we're out here. Just stay nice and low. And we'll see what we can make of it. And so far, so good. Nothing horrific roaming around, but that can change pretty quickly. We can also go completely prone if we want to be extra stealthy, but I think we're just going to need speed here more than anything. We might have wanted to have a torch or two as well, just in case, well, the darkness falls. And that sun is setting rather fast. So let's try and make this quick. Hello? <laughs> oh, just dodos. Well, that's okay. Let's start sprinting now. So far, so good. I see fins in the distance, but the water here is too shallow, I think, for anything that large. We've got fish here. And a giant salmon. Okay. All right, what do we got? Oh, requires level 35 to open. Well, that's good to know. Uh, we're certainly not level 35, so that's not something that we're going to be able to make use of yet at all. Now, I think these lights are potentially temporary. There is one a little bit further down that way that's been there since we've started, though, so maybe some of them are fixed. Either way, we need to be ready for night. And you know what? We might need a little more meat. No, we'll leave the two of them. You never know. They could make more. Back towards home we go. Trouble on the beach. Not our trouble. And wow, the second that last bit of light goes over the horizon, just so dark. We'll definitely be making some torches. And I'm glad we got the campfire going to... Well, give us some drawback towards home. I think that's all of our meat cooked, so we might as well save the fire for now. Oh, and there goes the light. We might actually need it tonight, though. Um, for warmth purposes. Should I be concerned about that noise? <laughs> well, we're going to get a ceiling on this 
right away. And I'm also going to make some torches. Oh, and I completely forgot about the water skin. Let's get that, and we're also going to make sure that we get the sleeping bag as well. Excellent. We got ourselves a torch, and we got our sleeping bag and our ceiling. So we're going to get both of those put in place now. There we go. That's proper placement. Ah, that's a little better. I do wonder. Oh, yeah. Our temperature is already getting better. I am a little concerned about having flame that close to all that thatch, but I guess it's fine. We're also going to be getting that sleeping bag put in place just so that Hilma has somewhere to rest and it's... No, that won't do. <laughs> Let's pick that up and place it better. Much better. There we are. Now, it would be great if we could pass time here. We can't, unfortunately. But the day and night cycle does seem to be a little faster. With the door open, we can certainly feel the cold that's outside. We'll have to wait until day before we can really head back out there. Unless we want to be ballsy. Right now, <laughs> I'm thinking caution's gonna help. And so it is that we await the day. Huddled inside our little thatch hut. While we're waiting, having a look further ahead down our paths, these ingrams that we can unlock, a slingshot will allow us to knock something out from a distance, rather than killing it. We can also use our fists to knock things out as well. After that point, we can use berries to keep something sedated for a long period of time. And that's effectively how we tame dinosaurs. And it's something that we're going to need to do, which work a little bit more effectively than narco berries. Looks like we're able to mix them with spoiled meat. So, oh, uh, look at that, spoiled meat. Not a bad thing for us to have. Looking further ahead, we've got some simple flags and a wooden club. Excellent for knocking out targets. And that's something that we're gonna want. And the rest is, unknown to us at this stage. In terms of taming dinosaurs, it looks like the first saddle we're able to get is a Fiomia saddle. Right off the top of my head, I have no idea what we'll be able to use that on. But I think our best start for taming is going to be taming the animals that are outside. The ones that are closest to us. The ones along the beach. And you know what? <laughs> we could wait. We could wait. Or we could explore, even if it's just a little, you know? We can be cautious. Can we attack with the torch? We, we can, so we can kind of defend ourselves. But also, this torch isn't going to last forever, I imagine. Okay. Hello, you. You, I would still like to tame. But I don't think we're going to be able to do that with just our fists. And then there's the larger creatures, like the Peleosaur that's down there. Which I probably just said completely wrong. You know what? We're going to do some more gathering, get some more XP, and I'm going to see if we can get that damn slingshot. I think while we're out here as well, we're always going to keep this fire lit, just so that we can actually, you know, see what's going on around us. And there we go. We have ourselves another level up. A level up that we're probably going to apply in here just while we have a little bit of safety. We're currently at 109 movement speed. Is that going to be 110? I hope so. We now have 10 Ingram points to play around with as well. Like I said, I'm definitely going to want to pick up the slingshot. So that's the first thing. After that, you know what? I think we might just hold on to those points. We're going to get that slingshot crafted, making sure that we take some stones out with us. And it looks like it's actually starting to get a little bit brighter out there, which is great. Now, we're certainly <laughs> not going to be able to hit it all the way up in the air like that. But we might be able to use the slingshot, potentially, on something like you. We could also just try and straight up punch it down. Although I like the idea of us using the darkness here to be an ally. Let's see, eh? Stay low. See how this goes. Oh. Do we not have... I... We didn't take the rocks. <laughs> well, thankfully, that's something that is easily dealt with. As we can grab some stone very quickly 
from this boulder here. There we are. We even got some metal. We'll take that. And we'll see if we're actually able to do this. I mean, yep, that got it. Oh, they're both running. And that's the thing. They probably are going to choose to run most of the time. Shoot ahead of it. That got it. Shoot further ahead again. All right. <laughs> so it certainly has a limited range. And obviously... We... <laughs> We need to be doing that damage quickly, or much quicker than that. Coming back this way, I don't even know if you're the same one, really. Let's just let that rock go. Collect it back. Hilma, we might actually be better off just running up and trying to punch this thing down. Once a pacifist, we do what we need to, to make it, yeah? Don't worry, I'll be your friend. All right, you're a male parasaur. Parasaur. That's it. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. Come on. We're gonna have to sprint to try and keep up with it. And when we can't, that's where the stones come in. Close. No cigar. Let's watch out for you. Come on. There we go. No? Ah, not into the water. Come on. Back out here. We don't want you to drown. Believe it or not, this is so that we can be friends. I know it doesn't seem like it, but I want to be a friend. Another hit. There we go. Got maybe three left here. I know you're injured. Come on. Need to grab some more rocks. Come on. One of the main reasons that we want them is that they are much faster than us. <laughs> that is also a problem. And it's leading us well outside of our area. <sighs> I think we're going to have to chalk that up to a defeat. And a lesson learnt. There is still one parasaur here, but we're going to want to have many more rocks to be able to take something that big down. So maybe we start small. Maybe we just start with a dodo. Or you. Hmm. We'll give you space. Oh. Easy. Easy. Alright. That's done it. Alright. Oh, you knocked out. Okay. Alright, well. Seems like this does work for smaller creatures. Okay, it's unconscious. Now, we need meat. Uh, I think I've only got cooked meat. We can get uh, regular meat pretty quickly. Sorry, Trilobite. Yeah, sorry about this. Just stab away, Homer. The spear broke, but we, we got it. Let's get that axe out and get a chopping. That's a fair amount of raw meat that we got from you. Chitin as well. All right, let's put some food in there. Now, we want to try and maybe split the stack if we can. In half, we'll transfer it to you. All right, you're going to start eating that, and then you. Let's access your inventory and feed you that. Now we need narco berries to keep them knocked out for long enough. Oh, wait, wait, we've got our first one. Okay, that was very quick, much faster than I thought it was going to be. Um, Dylan? Dil, Dil, yeah, we're going with we're Dylan, spelt like that. And we got the other, we got both of them. Dylan and Dilma. <laughs> yep, that's what we're going with. Um, and did we even get the naming convention right here? You are a male, and you are... You are... You're both males. We've got Dylan and we've got Dilma. Okay. And they're following Hilma now. Actually following Hilma. They were attacking her but a moment ago, but now... They look to her. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. Not what I was anticipating. But, you know, that's going to be part of the fun in this series. I am learning as Hilma is learning. And that, Legionnaires, is where we're going to be wrapping things up for today. Hilma stands here ready to take on this new day with two new friends at her side. She roams now not alone, 
One day done, many more to follow. And look at that. Seems like her hair is already starting to grow back. We'll have luscious locks before long. Legionnaires, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.